This makes me happy. Do you ever just... Bruh. What's that about? Why would you do that? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> Never mind. Now, this man right here is either extremely brave or extremely stupid. Acknowledging that your wife have the Thanksgiving turkey chin is diabolical behavior. That's a line of scrimmage that I know for sure I'm not crossing. Now, I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, it's a joke. It was lighthearted fun. No, 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 no. Trust me when I say that in the next coming weeks, that little practical joke could come back to bite him in the ass. Have y'all ever seen the laugh now, cry later face? A lot of people running around here with laugh now, cry later tattoos. When you dealing with women, you gotta think now. You gotta strategize because they love bringing shit up and that right there you touching her chin making the turkey sound <laughs> that right there can be a major topic of discussion and the fact that you already acknowledge that it's there I don't even know how you gonna wiggle your way out of that one Excuse me. can I ask you a question yeah yeah um where did you get that what's your name no, you guys speak Spanish oh yeah okay what's Okay, yes, sir. Wow, wow, wow. She said, ah, papi, hold on. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Abuela got them yams. <laughs> I'm just saying what y'all thinking. Abuela got them yams. Personally, I don't think it came with a serial number. Like, that looked like the non-GMO that you find at farmer's market. Oh, you, 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 Yeah, she got me. Hey, cuidate. What? 42 verse 28. That's not a big age gap. Maybe I've seen too much. Because I definitely... um. Oh, you finna snitch on yourself. I'm, I'm about to say something to y'all. I talk to y'all like my people. You feel me? It's like I'm talking to the homies. When I was younger, my friends and I were dibble dabbling with the cougars. And at the time, we ain't had no respect. So some of these cougars were actually married. I'm saying all that to say, old brothers, make sure you're taking care of yourself. You're taking all your vitamins and you're exercising regularly. That way, your soldier can always be ready when it's time for war. When she breaks up, she even said you'll never find another one like her. Then you show up at her job, having her serve you champagne with a woman finer than her. <sighs> Fellas, you and your woman break up, and then you show up to her job with your new girl. That's not a flex. She is still living in your head rent free. Hey, I'm doing my makeup, and I hear that that ass over, let that cushion breathe, that ass over, that ass over. I was like, wait, excuse me. <sighs> I said, uh-uh. I said, revert to the old set list. I said, they like to get down and dirty here. Hey, I'm doing my makeup and I hear... I don't know what's going on in the 2010s and the 2020s, but white women have discovered the, the secret to thickness and they letting y'all know that they coming. We ain't gonna talk about her superhero outfit and the little strap. I don't know what that is. That like she got the sumo wrestler underwear on top of the, bl the black tights. We ain't even gonna talk about that. I don't know if it's the Chick-fil-A, I don't know if it's Chipotle, I don't know if it's Starbucks. But these, these heifers, it, they coming for y'all. Y'all motherfuckers out here getting BBLs. These white girls is eating Chick-fil-A and doing squats. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. Excuse me. Where'd you get those glasses from? Baby, I got these from Forever 21. Baby, girl, they look good on you. Uh, what's your name? My name? Yeah. Wait, well, are you a professor? What you do? <laughs> I do commercials. Commercials? I need me one of them. He said I need me one of them. Period. Like, hey, what's up, baby? What's girl, up? I just want to say, girl, your lick is giving. What? Girl, we should go get a drink sometime. You feel me? Me, you, 
You say, I'm, oh, yes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, you're not about to make me swirl. Oh, no, i Let me. Girl, I'll tell for you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Period. You're giving me energy. I love it. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I refuse to believe that he's crossing the street. They, nah. It ain't. It ain't it ain't flowing. It ain't flowing, bro. Get some mimosas, you know. It's whatever. Yeah, for real though. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna do what it do. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna go out and get No, some this man did not. What am I dealing with right now? You're dealing with the real one, you feel me? You, you, you catching me on some hey girl, but you switching up on Yeah, cause that really ain't me, you feel me? Okay. Bro. Is that what we have to do now, ladies, to secure an opening? We got to act like we playing for the other team? I don't know about all that. My, my acting skills ain't that good. He did expose something, though. I guarantee you that if he came through in that situation as himself, as a straight black man, I don't think her response would be that welcoming. Can you help me with my dreams? I love you. Ooh. I need every man in the world to get out their notebook and take notes on this, all right? This is what not to do when your man's is talking to a female, right? Oh, man. What's five things you look for in a man? <laughs> give me three. Give me three. That's easy. Big personality. Okay. Good looking. Look at, look at the hand contact. Yo, listen. I had a right wild woman. Yes, look sir. I had her. Okay. So, so you know what I'm saying? Do I fit your description? What'd you say? Um, hey, this nigga go selling my shit. My partner just got out the cell, dog. Like, damn, I was happy to see my dog. Like, damn. Yeah, look at your face. I'm feeling it. I'm trying to. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. Hey, hey look. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I'm sick. You don't know, like famous things? Yeah, come on, Kwan. Come on, Juan. Look. You don't know, like famous things? No. Juan, this nigga so oh, yeah. my bad. Can you help me with my dreams? Even when you want to have a conversation with somebody and they're already involved in a prior conversation, you wait. Respect dictates that you wait. So why would you even do that? Knowing that it's fish on the line. Why are you throwing rocks in the water when you see a man fishing? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sometimes you gotta pay attention. You be hating. Trade. 32. How important is the amount of money a man makes? A zero. Why is that? Money doesn't buy happiness. Money mm. doesn't buy Honestly, it's the root of all evil and makes a lot of people do shit that they wouldn't normally so mm -hmm. annually where would you say you, you're at in six figures mm. would you feel comfortable dating a man who is making 50 or even 35k for sure yes even if he was an uber driver yeah yeah that's what made him happy so you're just looking for a man who has ambition i'm not looking for a man because i got one but he knows who he is he um loves me and he's a good person i mean that's pretty much it what five things do you have to offer a man my humor, uh, my support, my love, an exciting life. Um, I can cook, I can clean. What is it that you expect a man to give you in return for that? I don't need a man for anything. If you don't need a man, why even be with one? If I wanted him. Well, what do you get out of that then? Love and mutual ador adoration and respect and... Yeah. If we had to give her a grading of the way she answered those questions, what would her grade be? Because at this point, she got an A plus for me. She already getting money, so she don't want you for your money. She literally wants you for emotional support, and she's willing to give as she gets. Let's go ahead and snap our fingers for this young lady, man. So yeah, this asking when y'all knew that your marriage was truly, truly over. So for me, my husband had this cousin. And uh, he really wanted us to meet her, like wanted her to come to the house, wanted us to go to her house, go out to dinner with her, whatever. I wasn't having it. I didn't care who the woman was. She was keeping him away from me, and that's all that mattered. Because at that point, intimacy with him was making me sick to my stomach. So anytime that I could get away from him chasing me around that house trying to put his hands on me was okay with me. I didn't care what he was doing. Also, it could have been some little weird fetish or fantasy to have me and this girl meet if she truly wasn't no cousin. And baby, you got to wake up real early in the morning to pull something like that over on me. So I was not playing into that. Anyway, there was one particular time she needed help moving. I want to know the backstory. Like, what did he do? What did he do to make you that sick of him? Like, did he cheat? You took him back and you realized, yo, I can't stand him. How did it get that far to where you would rather him go hang out with another woman? 
He wanted me and my child to, you know, get our stuff together and go over there. I wasn't doing that, child. Get out this house for two reasons. One, this keeping you off me for the night. Second of all, since he stayed out till three or four o'clock that morning, that gave me a pretext to be mad at him for possibly weeks, therefore avoiding intimacy with him, giving me another chance to avoid intimacy with him. So I was good. But baby, I knew then it was a wrap. If I didn't care, the man was possibly hanging out with another woman. It didn't matter to me. Just get about my face. Anyway, crazy story. Let me know you truly know your marriage was over. I stay telling y'all my business, but this story reminds me of when I grew up with my grandparents. It's a lot of couples that grew old together that couldn't stand each other. Growing up with my grandparents, I always got the feeling that my grandmother could not stand my grandfather. And I never understood what he did. They slept in separate rooms. They never spoke. As a child, I can probably only remember one conversation them having. The one thing I can say, though, is even though they never spoke, the man always had a hot meal. You feel me? He, he always had breakfast. He always had lunch. He always had dinner. He always had supper. She always washed his clothes. But they never spoke. They're both gone now. God rest the dead. But I honestly wonder what my grandmother would have been like if she was with somebody else. Nowadays, when you hear dudes talk on the Red Pill channels, they talk about the divorce rate and how the divorce rate is so high with the modern women and all this, that, and the third. But bro, there's a chance that your grandmother was suffering in a relationship with your grandfather. That your grandfather might have did something so heinous. But because she's loyal, she just stayed and may have been mentally defeated. I'm not making excuses because I know some of these right now, they just ungrateful. And, um, I'm standing between him and her right now. Until emergency services show up. Because if he gets too close to me, I'm going to have to get him out of Yet again, we have another stalker. My question is, how invested are you going to be if you see something like this taking place? I've asked this question before. Would you jump in in a situation to save a young lady if you see her getting beat up by say, her boyfriend? Now, this is a little different. If you see a potential kidnapping about to happen, how invested are you going to be in that situation? Are you going to jump in head first like my man did right here? Or are you going to stand back and call the police? No. You got arms no. No. You got arms no. Would you risk your life for a complete stranger? I've had this conversation with my wife, and my wife told me I need to mind my business. I have a family to take care of. I need to mind my business. I don't know how many of you guys live in Atlanta, but there's a situation that, that took place on a bus. Or as far as I can recall, two passengers got in a fight. Somebody tried to break it up. The person who tried to break it up ended up getting killed. The guy who killed them hijacked the bus, held the driver at gunpoint, and, you know, was trying to get away from the police. I'm still a little confused as to how the person that tried to break the fight up ended up getting killed. This ain't quite the same situation, but this goes along the lines of minding your own business. This cryptid here and this documentation, which a field camera was used, it was seen in an area, and a colleague of mine from a major university set up a field camera, and this is what they got. Now, this is known as a rock person or rock people. They can eat rock. They're found around cliffs, large boulders. They are real. And other colleagues of mine from some major universities, we t 
We testify that this is a real documentation. This is a rock person indeed. That's a sponge. Now, whoever cut the sponge out into the face of whatever that face is, kudos to you. Very talented. But that's a sponge. We can see the camera moving. So somebody's holding the camera. How y'all feel about Bigfoot? Y'all think Bigfoot is real? When I was younger, that was one of the videos that actually scared the shit out of me. And the original clip from, I believe it was the 70s, of the guy from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like the original clip when the police was there and mans came out of nowhere and, and started trying to butcher folks. That scared the shit out of me. You know, you know why I pour you over there? These windows, they're tainted. You can't see nothing. I'm a celebrity, man. Nobody can't see me. I don't know what celebrity you are. I'm not big enough to see me right now. Can't have nobody see me right now. Look at my window. Oh, yeah, you look. You good, but you can't have a tinted window, man. All right, give me the ticket. Give me the ticket. Give me the ticket. I have gotten pulled over probably three times for tinted windows. As a police officer, if you're pulling people over for tinted windows, you on bullshit. Police windows be way more tinted than our windows. Don't say it's a safety hazard, because it's a safety hazard for you too. Let me see how dark these tinted windows are. If I do too dark, zero, hey, no zero. <laughs> Zero is crazy. My joints be 10%. Nice, you too. My boy, you a millionaire. Now, who are you? You say you are. My name is Baby. Okay, I just get you the sign right here, okay? You got a pen? Hey, what's up, You want to be one of these. You got to have a ticket, man. That's me for crazy. Facts. I'll take a ticket then, somebody probably. Facts. You can put a 32. If you got a medical exception, you can, you can, you know, get a ticket. 32 is like barely having tents. 32 ain't gonna stop nothing. And to be honest with you, bro, Lil Baby is a well-known rapper. My motherfucking ass with my little ass YouTube channel, I be getting recognized out here. I'm gonna be quite honest with y'all, man. I appreciate the love that I get from a lot of y'all when I see y'all out here. You feel me? But just be respectful. I had one gentleman come up to me at the stall taking a whiz in Quick Trip. That is the most uncompromising situation you could be in. I'm literally at the stall in hand. You could have at least waited, my man, but I appreciate the love.